Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is part one of my static methods tutorial. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, select menu, and then Java OOP tutorials. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to Static Methods Part 1. In my introduction to the Static Modifier tutorial, I discussed how the Static Modifier allows a class variable to be called directly. The concept worked great in that tutorial because the main method always contains the Static Modifier. There are many rules to understand when applying the Static Modifier to class members. Here are a few. A static method cannot directly access a non-static instance variable. An instance variable can only be accessed inside of a static method by reference. A static method can directly access a static class variable from within the same class. A static method can directly access a static class variable from another class. A static method cannot directly invoke a non-static method from within the same class. A non-static method can only be invoked by reference. A static method can directly invoke a static method from within the same class. A static method can directly invoke a static method from another class. A static method cannot use the this keyword. Okay, in my, uh, in my code today, I'm going to go over each and every one of these statements here and demonstrate that. So, let's come down here to the code. We'll highlight everything. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. And let's get the browser off screen here. I've got a shortcut to my desktop to the command prompt here. Or command prompt shortcut on my desktop. If you don't have one, you can create one really quick by going new shortcut, right clicking by the way. CMD, next and finish. Let's go ahead and open up the command prompt, type in Java C, which is the Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that ins installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, then CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. Now I'm going to make a directory called Java using the MD command. And I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder. And then today I'm going to create another folder um, called static method one. Change directories to the static method one folder. And I'm going to notepad static method one.java. Static method one.java is the name of my source code file. I'm going to go ahead and paste all this stuff in here and come up here and select file and save. Okay, so I've got two classes in here, other class, and then I've got static method one. Static method one has our main method entry point right here. Now up here I've got an instance variable of int data type called instance int and setting it equal to zero. This is a non-static instance variable. Now in the next statement I'm declaring a static class variable, right? Um, static keyword, an int data type, then static int and then setting equal to zero. So as you can see, the only difference between an instance variable, right, and a class variable is the static keyword right here. So with that being said, let's test out some of these, these statements here, right? The first statement up here was, um, a static method cannot, be, cannot directly access a non-static variable. Okay, so the main method is in fact static. It always has been. You know, we've typed this in a thousand times now, and you know, and that's what the static, the static um, means there. So let's go ahead and try this here. So instance int is a non-static instance variable. So we cannot directly access it. So let's go ahead and just uncomment that. Let's save this. Let's come over here, clear our screen. I'm gonna do Java C. We're going to try to compile this. Okay, so we get an error. Non-static variable instance int cannot be referenced from a static context. Okay, so that, that definitely proves that. So bring back over the website here. So a static method cannot directly access a non-static instance variable. 
Now an instance variable can be only accessed inside of a static method by reference. All right, so that's what the next two lines are going to do here. Next three lines. So we're going to create a reference to our own object here, right? A reference to our own class. So stat, uh, state, static method one object type reference variable SMO equals the, um, the reference to a new instance of static method one. Okay. Now that we have our reference variable right there, SMO, we can come down here on the next line and use that to directly access the instance int up here. Okay. We can set that equal to 10. The next line, we'll use the print line method to display this string literal. Plus, we'll use our reference variable to get the value of instance int directly. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save that. Come down here, recompile that. That looks good. Java to run the Java virtual machine, and we'll pass it the static method one that we want to invoke there. Okay, now we're just going to take a look at this first line here non static. Instant int value via reference equals 10. Okay, so that worked there. Bring back over the website. Let's check off this one here. An instance variable can only be accessed inside of a static method by reference. Excellent. Now, what are we going to do next? A static method can directly access a static class variable within the same class. Okay, great. So just up here, right, where we have this instant int equals 10, we cannot do that with a non-static instance variable. However, static int equals 20. Yes, a static method can directly access a static class variable from the same class. So <clears throat> we'll just set that equal to 20 and display it to the console. Now, as you can see, we, from when we ran it, no need to recompile and run it, same thing. Static, static int equals 20. So that works out great right there. Okay, on to the next line there. A static method can directly access a static class variable from another class. All right, hopefully all my repetitive stuff will just drill all this stuff in. So here's our other class, right? And I named it other class, and I've got a class variable here called shared int. Of course, it's static type, of course, right? And we're gonna go ahead and directly access that. Okay, so um, other class dot shared int, all right, and if you remember from my introduction tutorial, here's how we access one from another. So from if it's within the same class, we don't have to say, for example, like um, static method one dot, right? We don't have to do that if it's within the same class, but if it's outside of the class, we have to say the class name, use the dot operator, and then the class member, which is the shared int class variable that we want to set equal to 41, right? I'll display this to the console there. Static shared int from other class, that string literal plus, and then we use the other class dot shared int again, okay? And you can see down here, right? Static shared int from other class equals 41. So that's fantastic. All right, we're just checking all these off here. Um, so that, that takes care of this one here. A static method can directly access a static variable from another class. All right, now on to the next, next sentence here. A static method cannot directly invoke a non-static method from within the same class. All right, excellent. So down here, I have in the um, in static method one in its class here, I have this method right here called non-static method. And it will simply, whenever it's invoked, display to the console non-static method invoked using reference. Okay, so we are right here now. So I'm just going to try to directly uh, invoke this, right? And let's see what kind of error we get there. Let's clear our screen. Oh, hold on. I just didn't compile it. I just ran on Java C. There we go. Okay, error. Non-static method non-static method cannot be referenced from a static context, right? Okay, so we cannot do that right there. Okay, our next little sentence here is a non-static method can be invoked by reference. So up, uh, right up here on this, this statement here, we created a reference to our static method one, and now we can use that reference to go ahead and invoke the dot, the dot using the dot operator, the non-static method. I'll clear our screen.
screen. Okay. So there we're at right there. Non-static method invoked using reference. Okay. Non-static method invoked using reference. All right, so we are cruising right along here, almost two thirds of the way done. Let's uh, come down here. So a static method can directly invoke a static method from within the same class. All right, excellent, let's see what we got here. So underneath the, uh, this here, I've got another method here called static method with the static modifier applied to it. And it will display to the console static method invoke directly. Let's come back up here and you can see right here, static method can directly invoke a static method from within the same class. So, um, basically, we don't need to even run that again. That's that's it right there. Static method invoked directly. Okay. All right, cruising right along here. So, the next one that I would talk about is a static method can directly invoke a static method from another class. Okay. Let's come down here to our other class and look, I got this static method called other static method over here in the other class and it will display other class dot other static method invoked directly. Sure enough, we can come up here and using the class dot syntax, right? We can say other class dot other static method. So we can go ahead and invoke that directly. And when that does, that'll display that. And let's see, it's exactly what we've got there, right? Other class dot other static method invoked directly. All right, let's come down to the last of our rules here for this tutorial there. So a static method cannot use the this keyword, okay? Let's see what happens when we try. First thing I'm going to do is try to say this dot static method. As you know, the this basically returns a reference to the current object, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and then we try to invoke the static method. Let's go ahead and save this, clear our screen, try to compile it. Okay, we get an error. Non-static variable this cannot be referenced from a static context, right? Okay, so we can't do that. Okay, let's try to use it to invoke a non-static, right? Let's see if that, that pertains to anything, right? Nope, same thing. Error non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context, and that's trying to do this dot non-static method as opposed to that. How about um, just trying to set an instance variable equal to six using the this, right? Nope, same thing. All right, on the instance set. Okay, let's clear our screen. One last thing to try here, and that is how about trying to set our uh, class variable using the this.operator. Oh, same thing. Okay, so I think I've covered my point on you cannot use this, the keyword this, from within um, a static method. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Let's just like save. Let's see, making sure it all works again. Java, if it, doo -doo -doo. yep, everything's all back to normal there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off the screen and just leave you with a couple of final thoughts here. So coming up uh, next is part two of this tutorial. While I discuss how non-static methods can access static class variables and invoke static methods. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.